We're in the middle of one of the oldest prairie restorations in the world, and these technicians are lighting it on fire. This is the beginning of a prescribed burn in Illinois, a deliberately controlled fire. It may seem counterintuitive, but fire is an essential tool for conserving this ecosystem. It increases biodiversity, keeps invasive pests in check, and can reduce the risk of mega wildfires. But fire is still a very complex and destructive force, which is why burn paths like this must be carefully planned. The leader of this highly skilled fire team is the burn boss, and he's going over the day's mission. So we're gonna start with the uh, fire right here, and we're gonna light slowly along this edge. The conditions have to be just right, or a fire could quickly get out of control. So safety and teamwork are crucial for a good burn. Just a reminder, look up, look down, look all around. Technicians wield special torches to light dried vegetation along a specific path. Others are armed with backpack sprayers and flappers to make sure the fire stays in line. The parameters for burning are tight. Flames can stretch 10 to 15 feet long, with temperatures rising to as high as 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It can be so intense that some of these seasoned technicians have to shield their faces. Wildfires burn millions of acres and cost billions to control in the U.S. But setting small fires can help prevent big ones. Prescribed fires clear the amount of fuel on the ground, like leaves, grass, and low brush, which can reduce a future fire's intensity. It's like fighting fire with fire. Post-burn, everything looks barren and black. It's hard to believe this grassland could ever recover. But that's what makes prairies unique. The roots of the tall grass are sheltered deep underground, where fire can't touch. And the heat from the fire actually helps to release nutrients in the soil that feel more vibrant regrowth. Which is why after a burn, the prairie ecosystem looks like this. Completely restored and refreshed. Thank you.